Hi everyone. In this session, we will discuss about uh, various methods to handle deadlock. Okay. So in the last class or in the last session, we have discussed what is a deadlock and what are the examples of deadlock and how a deadlock occurs. All those we have covered in the last session. Okay. Coming to this session, we will discuss about uh, different uh, ways to handle deadlock. Okay. The first one is deadlock ignorance. Second, deadlock prevention. Next, deadlock avoidance. And last but not least, it is deadlock detection and recovery. We will see each of these methods in detail one by one. Okay. First, we will start with deadlock ignorance. So, what is deadlock ignorance? Here, what the author is saying is, we know what is a deadlock. So, once again, we will see what is a deadlock. If there are two processes by name process P1 and process P2, if process P1 is holding R1, where R1 and R2 are two resources, R1 and R2 are two resources, the resource R1 is being accessed by process P1, whereas resource R2 is being accessed by process P2, means process P1 is holding R1, P2 is holding R2. Okay, and after after completion of accessing the resource R1, P1 is still holding R1 and it is and it is keeping a request or it is waiting for resource R2. Similarly, P2 has finished its accessing with resource R2 and it is waiting for resource R1. P1 will release R1 when P1 gets R2. So, P2 will release R2 only when P2 gets R1. Here the deadlock has occurred. Okay. So, this deadlock ignorance is nothing but, so whenever, whenever the deadlock occurs, okay. So, in order to overcome that or in order to solve that conflict, simply what we can do is, we can simply restart the system. Okay. We can restart the execution from the starting onwards. Okay, so by this we can simply ignore the deadlock. So there is no guarantee that if we restart the execution again from starting onwards, there is no guarantee that the deadlock will not come again. Okay, there is a chance that the deadlock may or may not come again. Okay, so this is the simple method of uh, handling the deadlock. What is the simple method? Simply we can ignore the deadlock. That's what the author says, right? Okay, so at the same time. The other is telling that we can't make sure that the deadlock won't occur again if we ignore it, right? So with this we will uh, wind up this uh, deadlock ignorance, right? Thank you.